Taylor... Taylor is pulling a Shrek, and I don't know if I appreciate it. It's me! Stocky! Your bride-to-be, your ghostly groom's bride. You always hear bride's groom, but never groom's bride. Anyway, we're back with the groom of Gallagher Mansion. Uh, Taylor is pulling a Shrek and interrupting our beautiful service. The slamming of ancient doors against walls drown out all the memories of the ballroom, and the illusions disappear without a trace. Uh, who? Get out of here! Damn, well, hold on. Hold on. Taylor's kind of built thick, though. Taylor! Aside from the angry echoing of footsteps, there's only me, Elias, and a very, very sweaty Taylor in the otherwise empty sanctuary. I've never been so happy to smell his attempt to mask the scent of sweat with overpowering cheap cologne. That is like the worst smell. That's like the opposite. <sighs> that's... That's right! This has to stop! You should have told Elias the truth ages ago! I... No? I should have told you the truth ages ago. What? My dear, is this the spirit medium you are talking to? Uh... It is. His name is Taylor. Taylor Potts. <gasps> no! No! Is he, like, the descendant of the Dupots? Taylor, why do you interrupt our ceremony? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Hold on! Is this, like, a holes thing where it's like, you? I never, you know, acquired the treasure, so you have to do it in my stead, grandchild. Du -du 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 -du. And, and Taylor's out here like, I'm tired of digging holes, Grandma! And she yells, it's too damn bad! <laughs> Elias's eyes flash with frustration. Oh, have I got some words for you, Gallagher. All of this? Taylor gestures wildly around the empty floor and tables. All of this is for nothing! This was a dumb attempt to find a ghost, and now I've put my best friend in extreme danger. No, it was not a dumb attempt. It was a good attempt. It was a very happy attempt. I, I approve of this attempt. They didn't actually believe anyone was here. In my heart, I didn't believe it either. I was desperate. But we did our homework and read that you were obsessed with romance. The idea of it, at least. Taylor, you, you, you go, you're gonna need to shut the fuck up right now. Right now is not a good time to be dropping truth bomb. You got hit, Arachromia? Nice. They aren't actually in love with you and have never been engaged to anyone before this. We went shopping for fancy clothes to trick you into appearing. I... again. So stop all of this. We're too young for marriage. We're both just college students, for goodness sake. We have our whole lives ahead of us. Speak for yourself, Taylor. You don't have the fucking loans. Taylor's arms drop to his sides as he takes in a shaky breath. Elias... You should be mad at me. I set them up to do all this. But I should have been the one here, not you. You try to steal my man? I look between both of the men standing in front of me. Taylor is out of breath while Elias can't find the words. I think we should let OHSIC disband. We need to go home. It's over. No, he's fading out. What? But... Taylor, don't make decisions for me. I'm a grown-ass woman. I'll marry a ghost if I want. My dear is right. They have been perfectly able to choose what they like. I provided plenty of opportunities and... Yeah, and they were playing you. Shut up. Taylor's previous fervor gets a second wind at the sound of Lies' voice and he puffs his chest. Our goal was to prove you exist. Now we have and I regret it. Taylor. Besides, do you even realize what rushing into marriage does to people? What if it turns out that you two don't even like each other, or can't even stand being in the same room tomorrow? Okay, damn, I hate that he has, like, solid fucking points. Like, them some points. Them some points. I'll give you Taylor, I'll give you that. 
I don't know about you, Elias. There's only so many tabloids that we can salvage all the way back from like a hundred years ago. But have you ever had to watch your parents fight with each other behind closed doors? His face. He's like, oh my god, are you bringing up my parents' sloppy ass divorce? Elias cocks an eyebrow in confusion. All I can do is stand there, listening, trembling. Rushed, unhappy marriages lead to divorce. Maybe your parents got along fine. Maybe they didn't. But if this was a regular wedding between you and Bud, you'd be waving a red flag for the whole state to see. <laughs> I, I don't know how to convey how good this game is. Like, I know I've been ripping on Taylor to shut the fuck up. There's a big tittied, th- thick hipped, gentlemanly ghost who's like, You want to get married? And he, like, comes in and be like, No! That's a stupid idea! You're in college! You still wear my little pony sweatpants! Get out of there! Oh. Mom and Dad tried so hard to pretend things were okay when I was growing up, but I wasn't stupid. I saw the exhaustion on their faces. I heard what they said to each other. Oh, are, are, are we projecting now? We're projecting? No one deserves that. I... No! I'm sorry, Taylor, I didn't... Besides, after all this, I realized... I'm jealous! Nope! <laughs> nope! <laughs> even, even Eliza's like, damn, what did... What sloppy-ass hoe did I get with? <laughs> oh, all this time. Wait, jealous, jealous of who? Let's, let's establish something. Me, I assume. There's a rival suitor vying for your affections. Oh, fuck. Now I get to pick between annoying and charming. It's true. I think you're great, and I really, really like you. I've wanted to tell you that for some time. Since about the day we met, to be honest. So our friendship from step one has been to get with me? But you were such a good friend. A kind friend who supported me in everything I did. But you were such a good friend. A kind friend. I... I was scared to lose that. I was scared to make everything too big. Looks like a kitty cat when he does that. But I guess I found a different way to make everything too big tonight, huh? Yeah. What a charming and sad story, Taylor. To much, to, much to my surprise, Elias's voice drips with empathy. His words are genuine. Elias, you're... How could I not be moved? But, my dear, I need you to tell me the truth. What did you come here for? I came here to help Taylor find a ghost. Our ghost hunting group was in danger of closing. We decided to investigate this place. We we knew people broke into this place pretty often, and no one actually claimed to see any ghosts. So we decided to do what we could to make you appear. Nothing I told you about the previous wedding was true. I wasn't left at an altar. I was never even at the altar. I am just an ordinary university student trying to help a friend. I see. No, he's fading out. There is. The truth is- there it is. The truth is out. I suppose it had to happen sometime. If Elias could sink into the center of the earth, he probably would. And is currently doing so. The only thing keeping him afloat is some sense of decorum. But not all of this was a lie, was it? No! Elias, I love you! Your titties are big and bountiful! Your demeanor changed as we spent time together. You got to know me. You learned about the real me, and I think your heart opened. (laughs) Now Taylor's like, damn, what the fuck? Oh no, come on, don't do this! I get that you're lonely, but you're completely missing the point here! Taylor, please. Where we go from here is up to them to decide. Yeah, it's my problematic decision, Taylor! I... oh fuck. The lights are flickering, the world is collapsing, and nothing makes sense anymore. I... I don't know what to do. 
I should never have come here at all. The whole thing was a mistake. Both Elias and Taylor look away from me. So that is it then? It simply ends with nothing? A tear culminates in the corner of his eye before rolling down his cheek. Not nothing. Let's just go and forget this happened. Oh! What was that? That came from above us! Oh shit! Uh, sprite change! Scene change! Oh no! It's over. It's over. It's over. I told you not to fuck around with the guy holding the building together! Run! I can't. My feet are frozen. I can't move at all. With Elias in so much distress, he can't focus his energy on maintaining the building anymore. We crushed his hopes and dreams. Decades of waiting. All for an empty lie. I feel Taylor tackle me in an attempt to escape, but it's too late. And we're dead. We've we've died. 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 Dead. Now we can be best friends. <laughs> Triad. My head should be spinning. I imagine I've been out for hours, but I I feel fine. Like nothing's happened. Cautiously I move my hand out of the into the darkness and find nothing. Even though I should find something. Oh no. I hold my hands up to my face in the darkness. And I can see right through <laughs> We died Like they aren't even there to begin with. Hey! Hey! Oh shit, font change. Someone help me Taylor's panicked voice rings out in the gloom. Taylor, Something's are you- wrong! I can't feel my limbs! <laughs> Dead! Taylor, I think- Did you get caught by the rebel too? Yeah, but- Taylor? Oh! Oh, shit! Yeah. Fuck! Yeah! Yeah, I, uh... I think we're dead. <laughs> it's true. Sorry that the mansion couldn't hold you. I did warn you about that rickety second floor. A few times, in fact. Elias floats between us, an indiscernible look on his face. He almost seems... happy. And as you also know, it has been close to a century since the estate has seen proper maintenance. Who do you think ensured that the facade and the outer gardens kept well and proper? You entered at your own risk. Okay, fair. And now, I think we'll all be together for some time. Yay! <laughs> I cannot tell you how excited I am to have some company at long last. In fact, I didn't expect your souls to stay in this world. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but I suppose that you two have some lingering regrets anchoring you to this place, same as me. Yay! Whoa, hang on. Elias, we never meant to- Leave if you want to try, but don't expect to get very far. I strongly suggest that we all learn to like each other very quickly, instead of letting this situation fester. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> There's no hope for us? I never said that. Personally, I was never able to leave the mansion even after my death, much to my own chagrin. So I doubt you will have much more success. But I welcome you to your new life. Or should I say death? Enjoy it for what it is. Ow! Oh, he's so cute. Taylor and I exchange glances and then look back at our new host. I can't tell if Elias has lost it or he's making more sense now than ever. Several months, question mark. The passage of time is irrelevant later. It's taken some time, but I've finally managed to get my soul to climb high enough to return to the bedroom. I didn't think moving would be so hard. Elias made it look so easy. Taylor still hasn't quite figured it out. Maybe it's d despair. Maybe it's Elias helping me more than him. I thought you might return here. Yay! Oh, Elias! It's a nice little bedroom, isn't it? If you want to lie down, go ahead. No reason not to relax, even for the dead. This is the best ending! While you rest, I'll go talk to Taylor. Yeah. I think it's high time things changed around here. Put that face away! Elias, changed how? For the better, I hope. Wait here. Menage et toi? With a signature bow, Elias is gone. I take up his offer and lie my soul down on the bed. 
it's as soft as I remember, and I can't help but to fall into a deep, long sleep. Wake up. Yeah, come on! Wake up! <laughs> Yay, besties! I open my eyes, stretch my limbs, and look towards my morning graters. Elias and Taylor and Elias float nearby, hand in hand. Hey! <laughs> Wait a damn minute! <laughs> hand in hand! So, we decided to start dating, <laughs> and we'd like you to join us. I'm so <laughs> Wait, really? I couldn't help but wonder what kind of conversation or how many conversations they had while I was out. We both have feelings for you, and maybe you still have feelings for the two of us. What do you say? Want to try it out? This is the best end game. Yes. How about it? We can repair the ballroom if the three of us work together. And we can spend the rest of eternity dancing in each other's arms. Oh, uh, absolutely. Will you marry us? Sure. <laughs> oh, sure. What the heck? After all, if Jeff hasn't done us apart, nothing ever will. I do. Yay! Ending. Ending D. Forever. I guess the endings are affected by what flowers you pick and which rooms you look through. I don't care. This is the best ending. I'm <laughs> no notes. No notes. This was perfect. Ideal and I love it. Oh. What a great little game. Oh. This was fantastic. Honestly, honestly highly recommend if you like want a strangely wholesome supernatural little romance thing. I mean this, I mean, my one tiny critique is that there could be, like, more, uh, more detailed standalone scenes. Like, we could, like, get Elias and the protag, uh, like, a full picture of them doing the flowers together and stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Like, you know, when dating sims, it's, like, shit that could be 100%, uh, a background for a computer like that shit but honestly man hands off and hats on full round of applause there we go none of that made sense but hey we got there eventually and good job all these people who donated to make this happen I'm proud of you too but I I really hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough uh, I know most of it was me talking about, uh, Elias's big old tibbies. But to be honest, I mean, look at that man. Look how he built. How could you not? Thanks for playing. Well, this is your ghostly bride, Stocky. And this has been the Groom of Gallagher Mansion. I hope you had a great time. You know what? Don't give up on love. Bye!